Well hi everyone, thanks for checking out this little update video for Baptist Youth for the month of November. Thanks to those of you who checked out last month, the month of October, and I appreciate you coming back to find out what else is happening in the Youth Department for the coming weeks. And since we're into the month of November now, the deadline has officially passed for churches to apply for a buy team for next summer, summer 2022. And so thank you to all those who have sent in their applications. And um, the buy committee will be meeting on the 1st of November and that evening to kind of flesh out the summer and create a bit of a calendar and a diary and a schedule for what that might look like. So if you've applied for a buy team, uh, hopefully you should hear something from us in the month of November, maybe towards the end of November, as we kind of sift through all those applications and try and make a bit of a plan for the summer. So thank you to those who've applied. And uh, as we think about the topic of the summer, uh, just a date for your diary for the new year, which is really exciting. Of course, young people have the opportunity to apply to go on a buy team. And those applications are gonna open at the very end of January. And we're excited to say that at the end of January, we're gonna once again be having a Baptist Youth Summer Lunch Night. Uh, we weren't able to have one of these last year. The year before we did have one, but most of what we told you that night ended up not being true because COVID hit and we couldn't do half the stuff that we planned. Um, but we're delighted to come back with another summer lunch night at the end of January. This is going to be on Saturday the 29th of January in Dremore Baptist Church. Ben Davis is going to come along and share with us that night as well. So put that one in your diary. Come along, bring your friends, bring your youth group. Promises to be a great night where we sing, uh, we hear from God's word, we find out what's happening in the summer, we find out the new theme, we find out all about camps and teams in 2022 and you'll have some food as well. Just a general good night of fun to connect with your friends and to connect with others across the land. We haven't been able to do that for a long time. Uh, so it'll be great to have that opportunity to connect with each other once again. So that's Saturday the 29th of January, the Baptist Youth Lunch Night. Make sure you come along. And last month's video, I told you a little bit about the work of The Amazing Journey and how um, Aaron Riddle, who was our Amazing Journey coordinator for uh, the best part of seven years there, has moved on. He's now working with an organization called Reach in Lurgan. Um, just a side note to say that if you want to find out more about Aaron and his reflections on his seven years with The Amazing Journey and a little bit more about what he's doing in Reach, check out this uh, month's edition of The Insight Magazine. I'm sure there are some people in your church who are subscribed to receive The Insight Magazine. Um, don't just steal their copy. Why don't you actually think about getting your own copy? Uh, why don't you subscribe to that and get updated on what's happening with Baptist Youth, the other departments of our association, and generally what's happening among our churches in the island of Ireland. So check out the Insight magazine. Your church will have a magazine secretary who you can speak to to make that happen. And in this edition of the magazine this month, um, we're doing a special section with Aaron, thinking about his time with The Amazing Journey, some of his highlights, and also finding out about what he's going to be doing with Rich for the next year and beyond. So do check that out. But yes, on the topic of The Amazing Journey, uh, we're going to be looking for a new Amazing Journey coordinator. And so at the end of the month, we're opening applications for people to apply for that role of The Amazing Journey coordinator. Um, those are applications are going to open on uh, Monday, the uh, 29th of November. Monday the 29th of November. So if you or someone that you know uh, feels led to uh, find out more about this post or maybe to apply for this post, do uh, seek an application pack, which you can do by sending us a little email at youth at the .org, and you can request an application pack and um, then you can be sent that and then fill it out and get it back to us uh, before the deadline, which is Friday the 17th of December. Friday the 17th of December. So that's the role for the Amazing Journey Coordinator and we'd love you to consider applying for that if that's where you feel led. Then as we move on through the month of November, a couple of other things that are happening which are really exciting. Again, last month I flagged with you something that's happening on the 20th of November which is the Irish Youth Convention. Um, the Irish Youth Convention is something that's been running for the past number of years and it's something that many of our churches and the young people of our churches have been really blessed by. It's an opportunity for young people from all across the island of Ireland, from many different denominations who are serious about the Bible to come together for a night of engaging with God's word, singing great songs and also connecting with people from across our land. Uh, this year, Graham Daniels has come to share. Graham Daniels is uh, someone who works and heads up the work of Christians in Sport, which is a great organization. And he's going to be speaking on the unstoppable mission of Jesus, which is a brilliant topic. So make sure you come along to that the 20th of November. Book your tickets. Um, the tickets are selling really fast. There's already hundreds of people who've got their tickets, so make sure you join them and get your tickets as well. You can do that on the website, irishyouthconvention.com, or if you visit any of the Irish Youth Convention social media pages, they're on Facebook and Instagram, and you can find a link there as well. So make sure you get your tickets, come along, bring your youth group, and have a great night on the 20th of November. This year it's at Hamilton Road Presbyterian Church. In previous years it's been at Spires in Belfast, but note this year it's at Hamilton Road Presbyterian Church in Bangor. So that's the 20th of November. The following Saturday, the 27th of November, then, is Churches Council. So there'll be people from your church 
uh, going to Churches Council again to hear a little bit more and updates about the work of our Association of Churches, what's happening. There'll be an update from the Youth Department again. There'll be other updates from our various departments. And it's an opportunity to find out more about the work in all of our churches. And um, this isn't something that anyone can go to, um, but some of your reps uh, in your church will be going along to that. So make a point of maybe having a chat with them the following Sunday, the 28th, and find out a little bit more about what happened in Churches Council and what's happening in the life of our churches. Something else then that's happening this month of November that we're releasing is a new resource. Uh, this is a resource that we're going to be sharing online and particularly on our YouTube channel. It's going to be a series of 8 to 10 videos really looking at the topic how to study your Bible. Okay, So I know for many of us studying the Bible can feel difficult or daunting or perhaps you open it a new book of the Bible and you don't really know where to begin or where to start or where to look. This series of videos hopefully should help you. There's going to be a couple of hours of content of really going through how we study the Bible right from what are some general good principles when we study the Bible? Why should we study the Bible? How do I find out about the context of the book that I'm passages that I'm studying? How do I really dig deep to find out what the passage is saying? How do I apply it to my life? All these questions we're going to be wrestling with in this new series of videos. Again, a couple of hours worth of content. So you don't have to watch it all at once. Uh, you can break it down and watch a little bit at a time. You can watch it by yourself. You could watch it with a friend. You could watch it with your youth group. Uh, however you want to avail of this resource, hopefully it'll be a blessing to you as you try and study the Bible, apply it to your life, and grow in your faith. Um, so do check out these videos. Again, stay tuned on our social media pages to find out a little bit more about when this uh, resource drops. But again, it'll be sometime in the month of November. Moving on then, um, a couple of dates just for your diary as we close. These are dates that aren't particularly close, but maybe ones that you want to uh, mark down in your diary for the new year. Again, I've already told you about the end of January and the summer lunch night, which is happening um, on the last Saturday night of January, which is the 29th. Then as you go into February, there's a special event happening on the 12th of February. Um, at Ballinahinch Baptist Church. We're going to host a another night to gather our young people together. And as we gather young people together, we'll just have another night of fellowship, friendship, opening God's word, having some food together, and it promises to be a good night. So why don't you come along to that? You can even bring your youth group uh, if you're in the kind of Ballinahinch area. And even if you're not, you're more than welcome to come and just have a good night of connecting with other young people and hopefully enjoying each other's company. So again, that's Saturday the 12th of February in Ballinahinch Baptist. And then later on in the month of February, uh, the last Saturday in February, which is uh, the 26th of February, on that morning we're going to have a special training event. This is particularly aimed at those of you who are youth leaders and parents. And the focus of that training event is going to be looking really at young people today. And so young people today, also known as Generation Z, face a whole host of unique challenges, challenges that perhaps you didn't have to face whenever you were a young person or that even young people five to ten years ago didn't particularly face because of the ever-changing culture and society that we live in. Some of the unique pressure points and challenges that they face we're going to look at and we're going to think about how can we help them navigate these difficult cultural issues and how can we help them ultimately in their discipleship of growing in their relationship with the Lord Jesus and through all the opposition and the struggles and the hurdles that culture today faces. So do join us for that if you're a youth uh, worker, a youth leader, parent, or generally you're just interested to know more about how we can help disciple our young people today, join us on uh, Saturday the 26th of February that morning. Um, um, we're going to be partnering with Growing Young Disciples for this event. Growing Young Disciples is a great uh, youth ministry organization. and um, They've got enhanced focus in Ireland as of late, which is great. Um, Pete Wright, who some of you might know, works for them now, and he's going to join us for that training as we think about this really, really important issue. So there's just a couple of things uh, to make you aware of, of things that are happening in November and beyond November into the new year, dates for your diary. So please uh, keep them free, check them out. And as always, thanks so much for checking out this video. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks for your support and hope to see you again soon.